Hey guys, it's me, Lenny, and today I'm back with another Roblox Piggy video, and you're probably wondering why my avatar looks different. It, you guys can definitely tell it doesn't have the merch on or anything like that, it doesn't have, like, it looks older. Because this is actually my very first Piggy video. Yes, this is my very first, my first time playing, I'm just having it in the background because the last footage I ever had of Chapter 1. You will be doing in this video, Piggy Book 1 and Book 2 Full Chapter Review. Reviewing all technically 24 chapters, even excluding the exclusive ones too. 1 to 10 of how, you know, nice it is and all that stuff, and I'll be saying why and why not. And yeah, without further ado, let's go and hop into the video. So starting off with obviously Piggy uh, Book 1, Chapter 1, it's definitely really cool. I definitely do like the whole house. It's the classic chapter, how the house all started. We all can't really go wrong with this chapter. It's it's like the, it's a really good one. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking of. I don't know what else. Anyways, guys, going back to the exact same thing. So I write like a 1 out of 8. It's good. But, you know, not too good, but definitely still good. But now moving on to Chapter 2, The Station. The Station is definitely a really, really good map. It's a police station. Yeah, it's not too good. I never really liked it, but I definitely do love police settings and all that stuff in horror games. So I rated a 1 out of 7. I rated it for that. And then we got here, The Gallery. Definitely my, one of my most least favorite chapters of all time. Just because it's kind of a little bit boring, and also the map's really tight, so you can easily get killed by Piggy instantly. So I'm definitely going to have to rate Chapter 3 a sad 5 out of 10. Sorry, Chapter 3 lovers. But after that, we got here, The Forest. Chapter 4, I I'll give it a... It's just really a campsite, so I'm just going to give it a, a 7 out of 10. It's not too interesting, but you know, doggies in there. So, everybody loves doggy. Then after that, we got here, The School Chapter. Definitely, this, this, the, the School Chapter... Mm, I do love school settings, but this one wasn't that scary. Like, Dr. Deception did it really good. The school chapter is scary in this. But sadly, this one did not do it for me, so it's going to get a 6 out of 10, sadly, for me. Then we got here the hospital. Hospital settings, it's amazing. I love how Dr. Deception made it a little bit different. Like, they always, I don't know how they got good settings and maps. But Piggy, it still looks realistic. I definitely do like it, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's still a great chapter. Then we got here the Metro. I like subways too, but not too much in a horror setting. Like I never. That's the thing I'm unique about this chapter. So, and also bon, uh, Bunny. I was gonna say Bunny. I mean Bunny. Sally passed away, so this chapter gets a nine out of ten for that. And then we got here the carnival. One out of ten. You all know why. This chapter technically is one that if you're a piggy, give up, never play. You never win as piggy. You probably got one person if they're like walking around, and they don't know how to play. But you're never gonna win in this one. Then after that, we got here the carnival. I mean, I mean the city, but you review the carnival. The city was actually the very first time I actually, uh, I mean, not, not the very first time I played Piggy. The very first time I played Piggy, you know, is now when I actually, when Chapter 2 came out. So I was pretty OG in there. The first time I seriously got into it, the Piggies, when Chapter 9 came out, the city. That's when I got fully into it and back into it. And I definitely like it. It's a good city aspect. Everything looks really nice. So, you know, a good solid 8 out of 10 for me. But then we got here the mall. It's a really good map. I love malls. Well, don't like going to them sometimes. But, you know, I love this mall. It looks like a police station a little bit. But I like the x later, everything that. Even Robbie introducing Mousy. Two great characters. So, I get that one a 10 out of 10. But then we got here the outpost. I don't really like it that much. I feel like it's just, you know, like, I don't know what. It's unique, too, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it's unique, but I don't really like it too much. But then we also got the Sword of Memories. The Sword of Memory was still an amazing chapter. Love that one. It, yes, you may be like, it's just a regular house, yes, with some added stuff, but still, I I really do love that chapter. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Not too much, but still love it. But not to that, we got ourselves here, the one and the only chapter 11, the finale chapter for Piggy Book 1. I'm going to have to give this one and 7 out of 10. It's a cool lab setting, but I don't know why I don't really like the whole lab, that lab setting. Like, I usually love lab settings in horror games, but sadly, this one just sadly did not do it for me. But that's going to be it for all the Piggy Book 1 map reviews. Now let's go to Piggy Book 2, and let's go on to the map review for that one. Okay, I took some time to find it, but we got here. Um, now I got the whole list here. Chapter one alleys. I'm gonna rate this one a, a seven out of ten. I like the alley way. I know I keep changing my mind about half of these ratings, but I still definitely do think it's a really good chapter. I have to always like change my mind about it. But not to that, we got here the store. I think it's just a basic store, so 
5 out of 10 for me, sadly. But then after that, we got the refinery. Sadly, for how Bunny gets infected. So, and also, it's a nice big inf and, uh, uh, refinery. So, I'm definitely going to have to rate that on a 9 out of 10. But then after that, we got ourselves the safe place. It's the most nicest map. I definitely do think it's a big map. Not the most nice, actually. Never mind. But it's still really, really good. So, I'm going to rate it uh, 8 out of 10 because of that. But when it comes to how hard it is to be a 0 out of 10, because it's easy the most hardest one to beat, it's so annoying. But after we got the sewers, this will got me really, really, really into Piggy, making me do a whole bunch of videos, almost three videos a, a week, like I've been doing now. This will truly got me right back into Piggy. I was always into Piggy before, after Shadow Tank came out for book one, but this one really got me set in now, getting all the merchandise and everything like that. But, you know, I'm going to give that one a 10 out of 10. Love it, no matter what. Factory. It, I definitely do think it's okay, but the thing is that I'm always mixed feelings about the factory, but this time, the factory is going to have to get itself a solid 7 out of 10. It's so good. Then we're going to hit the port. Where are we going to, you know, before we get the boat? I definitely do like this one. I like this whole, it looks like St. Augustine, like, uh, you know, that whole area. I don't know if you guys even know what that area is, but, you know, if you look it up, it looks like a nice place. And that's why it reminds me of that place. So, you know, got to give that one a good, great 7 out of 10. Just, just kidding. 9 out of 10. 10,000 to give it lower than that. Then we got the ship. I love ship settings, especially in Piggy the way it is with the whole corpse that's sitting here around there all the time. I love that. I love the whole story with that, too. So 10 out of 10 for that one. Then we got the docks. I love the boat a lot more. Sadly, the docks are not that interesting to me. So, sadly, a 6 out of 10. But then after that, the temple. The temple is really good in the design. I definitely do like this one. So, a 9 out of 10. It looks really, really old. I love the way they designed it. He did an amazing job designing it. Also, or her, I don't know. I forgot. I feel bad now. But, um, guy, the, the campsite. The campsite. Okay, this would be definitely tri tricky. The, the campsite is like the other campsite or the other place. It's not too good. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10 because it's not too good, but I'm not a big fan of it. But not to that, before we went to chapter 12 being the last chapter, we can review the holiday map being the Winter Wonderland. Technically, between book 1 and book 3, like a little break. I don't know if it's officially canon. And yeah, everyone's a whole debate about that. But I love the way that looks. and I love all the characters and everything in that. So that's easily going to get itself a solid 9 out of 10. But now we're going to go into the whole distraction chapter. Uh, yeah, that one. Then we're going to go into the other one. Then the finale. But the distraction chapter is easily just the refinery again. But it still looked really nice. I like the whole how getting a little bit darker and the whole twins and all that stuff. And I love the Sentinel introduced there. So give it a 6 out of 10. Even though it's like that chapter. But, you know, got to give that. And then after that, we got here the last one being the whole... Uh, the alleyway, the whole robbery, that whole thing. It's just like the alleyway, but an extended alleyway. So, yeah. Just because it's like an extended alleyway, I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10. It added more to the map that I didn't really like that much. So, got to give it a higher rating for that. But then after that, we do got ourselves the one and the only final chapter chapter 12 the last one to rate and after this, this is actually going to be my last rating video rating uh map because there's no maps here to rate so giving that one being a final one i'm definitely gonna have to wait and see but um the thing about it is the true ending map is technically in that the true ending map has to get itself a, a 8 out of 10 it's pretty cool yes a little bit repetitive but it's pretty cool i love the way the whole scene looks like it's infected. I mean, not the infected. It looks like the insulins and everything. So that's going to 8 out of 10. But then the chapter 12 map, before the show ending, this easily gets like another lab. I thought they're going to do a better job. This is definitely a lot better than the chapter 12 lab, in my opinion. But it's just another lab that had repeated walls like the show ending a little bit. But the show ending has something special, you know, because it's new dreamscape and everything like that with the whole insulins. But this one didn't really have that. So... 7 out of 10 for me, sadly. But anyways, so guys, tell me guys in the comments below. What do you guys do think about the skin rating? You tell me guys in the comments below your opinion about the skin rating. I definitely do love the whole, all the Piggy chapter, uh, chapter maps. So stay tuned because next week we'll be actually doing trap reviews. Yes, reviewing the different traps. Stay tuned for that. And while we still reviewing the skins, we'll be doing trap review being a new thing starting next week. So stay tuned for that. And that's you guys all in the next video, guys.